I hate this place. All right, so we are uh, getting ready to leave here. We actually leave tomorrow. We're, we're at Sunshine Holiday in Fort Lauderdale. And this is our fourth or fifth time staying here. It's convenient to, on our way to the Keys and on our way back up uh, out of the Keys. But I tell you, I really, really believe I hate this place. Each time I come, it's a little bit worse than it was the time before. Now on our way down to the Keys, we stopped here for a few days. And you couldn't even use the pool because their gate for coming into the park was broken, so it's left open. And people who don't even uh, belong here were driving in, using the pool, filling up the pool, having parties, and then at the end of the day would drive out and leave. And so it was like the pool was nonstop full of people who didn't belong here. That was the last time. This time we come and uh, the pool is closed. Uh, it was totally green, so they're working on getting that taken care of. But, you know, each time I come back, the place is just dumpier and dumpier. Um, I've heard like gunshots at night. Uh, the, the neighborhood is, is not all that swift. So uh, the residential section, there are areas that are just like totally trashed. And it's just not a nice place. People kind of speed up and down these streets too. So kids playing, you know, is okay, but uh, kids of residents here, uh, like this one lady, the kids are like, wow. Like uh, five and six years old, and they're playing in everybody else's campsites. <laughs> and then you, you, you hear the mother call them eventually and then they go back home and they're at one of the trailer homes. Uh, people just disrespect other people's spots. Um, I had a lady just walk in over my patio and let the dog, her dog, relieve itself right on our our camp spot. I mean, seriously, that's just totally inconsiderate. Another, another person who's a resident here. Now they do have two pools here. We could have used the other pool, which is over in the resident side. But you can hear a lot of sirens. <laughs> um, but that was crowded, so we ended up not using the uh, that pool on this trip. Um, this is, I think, our last time that we're staying here. Like I said, each time it just seems to be a little bit worse. I don't really recommend it unless you're desperate. Um, there's another Encore Park not too far away, but from what I hear, that's even worse. So. Um, the shuffleboard courts have been trashed. It's like somebody had some things they wanted to spray paint, so they put their stuff down on the thing. I'll show you here. Hold on. All right, so here's the shuffleboard courts. And as you can see, someone spray painted all over it. So not very nice condition. And then this looks like this would have been a volleyball court, except for there's no court, just the sand. So uh, the neighborhood down that way is really trashy. <laughs> so overall, it just just not not good. Anytime you want to get a hold of somebody in the office, there's nobody there. You call on the phone, nobody ever answers the doggone phone. So uh, it's just uh, difficult to enjoy yourself here. I mean, the location wouldn't be so bad. It's in Fort Lauderdale. You're not that far from beaches and that. But uh, the neighborhood itself is uh, not the swiftest where this is located. So 
so this is probably our last time staying here that uh, we will either just totally bypass this, bite the bullet, and make the drive all the way down to the Keys. It's going to be a good long while before we go down to the Keys again anyway. But. So I did do a review on this place from the first time that we had stopped by here, and I'll put a link in the description below uh, and up here uh, to that video. But the sights are tight. Uh, and in some of the sites you got to run your sewer line under the rig. I mean, that wasn't uh, that big of a deal, really, but the um, place is really kind of crappy. But I can't wait to get the heck out of here. So, I mean, our site's not too bad. Water and sewer is on the wrong side. There, there they are, water right by the sewer. Had to run the sewer hose underneath the rig. I mean, this doesn't look too bad but when I initially I was supposed to be in that site right there uh, I couldn't get my slide out out all the way so we had to take another site and it, a, a lot a, a lot of the sites do run real close to each other where the site slide outs almost touch mine would have touched so that wouldn't have been good so tomorrow we go to Harbor Lakes in Port Charlotte, Florida. Uh, that's where we're headed off to, and we're going to be there for two weeks. So um, I'm looking forward to that one. All the pictures that I've seen so far, it looks like a really nice place. I've talked with the people on the phone. I've called a couple times. Every time I call, they they answer very pleasant and uh, answer my questions. So. Um, I'm thinking that's going to be a good experience, and I will do a review on that one uh, after we're there a few days. So, all right, so I'll catch you in Port Charlotte. So I'll see you then. Bye. Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.